Okay, it's time for yet another unboxing. I just got this one in the mail from Gameology here in Australia. Uh, and it's uh, Wingspan by uh, Stegmeier Games. This one's been having a lot of hype. Um, but I finally was able to get a copy for less than whatever ridiculous prices people were try trying to sell them on eBay. Uh, so let's have a look and see what's inside the box. Go. All right, so that's a very nice looking box. Nice sort of matte finish. Very subdued, that's what's inside the box. Some player boards, some cards, some eggs, a birdhouse, right dice roller with some dice. Yeah, nice artwork on the front. Being created, here we are. So inside on the top we have a nice rule book. It's got kind of an interesting textured cover. So what is this? This is the competitive bird collecting collection engine building game for one to five players. Uh, it looks like, yeah, the basic setup and rules. And here's in a big appendix with that same really nice paper. I don't know if you can see the texture that's on there. It's hard to catch it in the light. But I would say it's different than a linen finish. It's a different kind of a finish. Oh, look, there's another book. Ah, so here's an Automa book. So this is rules if you want to add automated sort of AI type players. Um, and inside we've got some a really nice plastic tray that has room to put cards and looks like also has room to store cards, which will be nice. Uh, here's some of these. This is the, uh, we got one of these exactly like this in our copy of um, scythe. So it says the Stegmeier Games, so the Stonemeyer Games logo on it was an S and M in a little hexagon. And then here we have all the different birds. So if you're really into birds, this game would be really cool. Um, if you're really into games from Stonemeyer Games. So I'm expecting this to be, and from everything I've heard, that it's going to be a really uh, well-balanced, fun, replayable game to play. And I'll learn a lot about birds, which, who knows, maybe this will lead me into a life of bird watching. And there's some food for birds, some cubes, resource cubes, and all these colors. Here's all these little eggs made out of plastic. Here is... Something I don't love, but a lot of games have them, and I usually end up never using them. A writing sheet to put down your score totals and keep track. Um, here's some sort of round tracker. Oh, look at these. The player boards look like some sort of field book. What is this thing? What even is it? Does it fold open? Yes, it does. Oh, that's nice. So it has all the habitats and all of the phases of play and the actions you can do. And we've got, oh look, extra baggies, always good. Now I think that the, those player boards are all exactly the same. So let's have a look again at this one if we can. Um, yep, yeah. no difference. So everybody has, everybody's looking at the same thing when they start. We've got one, two, three, four, five of those. Such nice high quality. Here is the parts of the birdhouse dice tower. Cool. And here is a punch board. And here is a bunch of little bunch more tokens of bird food. So we've got feathers. I don't think that's bird food, but we've got fish. We got worms. That's definitely bird food. Mice. Some birds definitely eat mice. And berries. Another thing which birds eat. And that's it. The box is empty. Um, if you give me a second, I will uh, have a look at those cards now. All right, here we go. So here we have a bubble link. Is that a bird? Cool. There's a brown pelican. So we can see a symbol of water because it's water and it likes fish. 
It seems to have four feathers. Pelicanus ascendatilis. When played, gained three fish from the supply. Seriously endangered in the 1970s, brown pelicans are thriving after U.S. and Canada banned DDT. And that's their range of habitat, North and South America. We'll just have a look, see if there's any more. What's this? Ah, the downy woodpecker, North America. Oh, and here's some other cards. Fishery management. So it's not all birds, but lots of birds, mostly birds. Are all these ones in this box, North and South America? Kind of looks like it. But there's so many other birds from around the world. So it might be all the birds in this game, which is quite a lot, are North and South American birds. North, North, North and South, North, North. Um, which is totally reasonable. Like that, uh, oh wait, Asia and Africa and Europe. Okay, the Northern Harriers. So we do have some special birds from other parts of the world. <gasps> What's this? The peregrine falcon everywhere. Well, that's a successful bird. I bet that's worth lots of points. Golden Eagle, the Great Horned Owl. There's so many cool birds. All right, this game I think is going to be super fun to play. But we'll see how we go. Ooh, and then uh, an Aninga. Barn Owl. Yeah, I like a Barn Owl. All right, so there it is. That is... Uh, Wingspan by Stegmeier Games, or oh, sorry, Stonemeyer Games. Uh, tons of cards. I'll have a quick look at these eggs. There they are. There's a nice material. They're kind of soft, but hard. Yeah, I can't put my nail into it. They almost feel like wax or something, but they're plastic. Cool. There you have it. So that's it, yeah. So once again, uh, Wingspan by uh, Stonemaier Games, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, um, with a lot of help by Jamie Stegmeier, uh, and lots of illustrations by these people, Natalie LaRogis, Annie Marie Martinez, um, Harry Mio, and Beth Sobel. Um, so, yep, yeah, if you like this video, please like and share, leave a comment in the bottom, and check out my other videos. Uh, thanks once again, and uh, have a lovely day.